What's up, Best Racing family, and welcome back to the channel. Today in the dyno, we have a 2015 STI with bolt ons and a bigger turbo. This STI came to us for a bigger set of injectors to go along with the larger turbo and bolt ons that he has on the car. So, uh, what he has is uh, IEG Stage 3 uh, short block, stock heads. Mishimoto front mount intercooler, AM340 liter power pump. He's got the Cobb fuel pressure regulator kit. Still stock rails, um, but we have a set of uh, Dietchworks 1000 cc injectors that we installed. Uh, he also has a Cobb boost controller and uh, Cobb intake and a downpipe and catback exhaust. So we've already done our um, our pulls on intelligent mode. So with these cars, we do three boost maps. Uh, Intelligent Sport and Sport Sharp using the SI drive. Intelligent's going to be his lowest boost map. Uh, we made it, I think it was about 14 and a half, 15 pounds peak. Tapered down to right around, I think it was like 13 and a half, 14 PSI. Gave us 329 horsepower and 318 foot pounds of torque. So we're going to start doing sport here momentarily. Targeting it about 18 pounds flat. Should be enough to give us around, I figure about 350 to 370 horsepower. Uh, somewhere in that range and then uh, once we get finished with that we're going to do sport sharp at about 20 to 21 pounds uh, see if we can hold a flat uh, flat line all the way for you know close to if not a little bit more than 400 to the tire so we're going to get tuned in here shortly That was our first pull on Sport. Uh, we ended up making, looks about 17 and a half PSI, held about 16 and a half up top. So we're gonna do a tweak on the uh, duty cycle on the boost controller, but we made 349 horsepower, 349 foot-pounds of torque. So nice, even, uh, I'd say even, but you know, balanced, you know, peak torque and, and peak horsepower. So peak torque, there's a the graph. I'm about 4,500 RPM and peak horsepower right around 6,000. So again, we're aiming for 18 PSI flat on here. Um, so we're gonna do a tweak on the boost controller and try to get that. If we do that, we should attain our uh, probably, I'd say about 360, 365 horse. Uh, should be about 360 foot pounds of torque too. So let the car cool down and uh, we'll be back at it here shortly. Finished up with our second pull on Sport. Uh, we did maintain roughly 18 PSI the whole way on that one. Uh, we are able to make 356 horsepower and 353 foot-pounds of torque. We did get a little knock in higher RPM range. Uh, just pulled one degree. So we're gonna take a look and see why, why I did that. See what we can do to remedy it and go from there. But here's what the graph looks like. So right here, 
here is where we got that night, or that a little bit of knock, a little bit of pull right there. So, had we not had that little bit of time and pull, uh, we'd have probably touched 360 horsepower on that one, which is what I was figuring we around what we would make uh, with 18 pounds. So, per usual, we're gonna let the car cool down, review the log, again, see why we got that little bit of knock, see what we needed to re uh, new, see what we need to do to remedy it and then uh, give it another pull. So it should be one more pull on Sport and then we'll move up to Sport Shark uh, from there. So stick with us, we'll be right back. That concludes our third pull uh, on Sport, uh, not Sport Sharp, sorry, Sport. Um, we made 359 horse, 359 torque. So the graph, there's a little bump around, looks like about 4,800 RPM, which we're gonna take a look at the log and smooth that out. It's probably, that might've been a little timing seller, a little bit of overboost and correction down, which if that's the case, you know, it's just a small change, but we're finished with Sport right now. Uh, so we're gonna look up the Sport Sharp here in a moment, but here's what the graph looks like. This little bump right here, that might have been you know, a slight overboost and correction down with the boost controller. So we'll take a look at that, see if we need to make a change. Smooth that section out. Again, we're going to move up to Sport Sharp now. We're going to target 20 to 21 pounds uh, flat just to see what it likes. And since we made about 360 horse here on 18 pounds, I uh, figure, I don't know if we're going to touch 400. I don't think we will. I'm not on 93 today. Um, I think we'll touch, you know, depending on how much more turbo will give me. I'd say around 300 and realistically between 370 and 390 right now. Um, duty cycle on the boost controller is kind of high up top already as it is. Uh, not too high, I still got room, but at some point turbo is just not going to make any more boost pressure even though I'm adding more duty cycle. So we'll let the car cool off and do another pull here shortly. That was our first pull on Sport Sharp. Um, we did make about 20-ish pounds the whole way. Carlin made 363 horse, 373 torque, I think it was. Um, ran just a little lean right before I let out of it, so we're gonna address that. Um, did knock partway through it a little bit, um, pulled a degree of timing. So we are going to uh, see why uh, each one of those things happened. Make the appropriate change and do another pull, hopefully one, maybe two more pulls maximum uh, to dial it in again. And we're looking for 370 to 390 out of this at 20 pounds. So we'll see what see what the car will give us. So we'll let the car cool off and do another one here shortly.
Well, that does it for this car. Uh, 362 horse, 374 foot-pounds of torque. It didn't really want to take any more ignition timing, didn't want to take more boost pressure, didn't want to run any, you know, wanted to run a little richer up top. Um, sometimes that's the way it goes. You know, our goal was between 370 and 390. Uh, but 362, 374, uh, 362, 362 horse, 374 torque is nothing to sneeze at, uh, especially with uh, one of these on a Mustang dyno and it being on 93 octane. So I'm not going to push it any harder because the car really doesn't want to be pushed harder. Um, thinking that cause most of the uh, most of the cars that we do on uh, front mounts are usually um, Cobb or uh, ETS. We've done a few pairing. Um, we've done a few Mishimoto also, and it seems like the Mishimoto front mounts just don't perform as well as the Cobb or uh, the ETS uh, kits, even the parent ones. Um, so out of all of them, the Mishimoto usually gives us the be or the least least amount of horsepower, just because I don't think the core flows that well or, or does that well for you know heat mitigation, uh, anyways. So I think a little better a little better flowing um, intercooler piping setup, a little better flowing from out could have got us you know our goal on, on what we're expecting so um really it's, i mean it's not nothing to be disappointed at again it was a 20 and a half psi peak um down to just just under 20 up top so 362 horse on sport uh 374 torque uh or that sport sharp sorry sport was three i think it was 356 horse 353 torque or was it 359 i'm not sure i have to look back at it and then uh, you know 329 horse 318 torque on Intelligent mode with uh, you know we use the SI drive to uh, give them some different boost profiles, some fun uh, to have around the tool around the street. So it doesn't always have to be at maximum boost pressure all the time. So again, this concludes our dyno session for the day. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please think about doing so. And if you have subscribed, we very much appreciate it. And uh, you'll have a good one. We'll see you again soon.